Hey guys, Mike with Recluse here. Today we're gonna talk about slip versus drag, what it is and what's causing it. When it comes to clutch drag or slip, it could be a few various things causing it. So the first thing we need to check is free play gain. It doesn't matter if your bike is hydraulic or cable actuated, it is checked the exact same way. If you don't know what free play gain is or how to check it, please refer to your manual or watch our how to check free play gain video. If you have no free play gain, what that would likely cause is slipping. So if you were in gear, giving it gas, and the bike is not moving forward, uh, that would be slipping. If you have drag, when you click the bike into gear, let the clutch lever out, and the bike is trying to move forward on you, that means the pressure plate's too close, most likely giving you too much free play gain. Depending on what bike you have, whether it's hydraulic or cable actuated, will determine how we adjust your free play gain. Let's start with the cable actuated bike. First, we'll remove the clutch cover. The pressure plate adjuster, right in the middle of the pressure plate, is how we're going to adjust your free play gain. First, loosen the two number four Allen screws. Second, you will use a number five Allen and we will actually counterclockwise loosen that adjuster. Once loosened, use the long end of the Allen to turn it back in clockwise so we can find the starting point. Once you hit the starting point, you will no longer be able to turn the Allen with your index and thumb on the Allen key. Once you have found your starting point, insert the short end of the Allen into the adjuster and turn it one full turn plus two tick marks. Torque the two number four Allens to 40 inch pounds, reinstall the cover, and check your free play gain. With the hydraulic clutch, we do not need to take the clutch cover off to make these adjustments. We will make these adjustments using the Recluse adjustable slave cylinder. If you have slipping, we will want to turn the adjuster counterclockwise one tick mark at a time until we get our free play gain down to an eighth of an inch. If you are experiencing drag, you will need to do the exact opposite. If you have the correct amount of free play gain and are still experiencing the same symptom, please refer to your troubleshooting guide to investigate further. <laughs> 